this asset pack includes a fully rigged female nurse character with around 14 custom medicine related poses and 40 custom poses these are some of them and the renders are super duper quick around 15 seconds in cycles and 7 seconds in Eevee and this is the wireframe this is the overview part of the video I will talk about rigging, posing, creating poses you can just simply check out the timestamps in the description to simply go to the places you want to look at now we're at the blender version we can use the latest blender just going on blender.org and going under downloads and downloading anything 3.3 3.2 or even 3.0 i would recommend using the latest blender version simply because of the poses but you can use whatever version you want but i recommend the high ones now we're at the checking out the rig part of the video let's start by first pressing n and showing our layers maybe let's squish this on the side so it doesn't confuse us and let's go into the pose mode and let's just check out the rig it's fairly good at least in my opinion you can open up the mouth fairly well you can close the eyes without any issues do the eyebrows square here the legs as well pick up the feet like that now we're at the changing poses part of the video it is fairly simple stuff first you select the rig it will glow in orange that means it is selected you go under pose mode and then you simply click on the poses on the left side and they should appear in front of you and you can just click through them and everything should work in case you click through poses and they look like this weird and they're not working that means you have a rig layer selected you can see here I have something glowing and all the things moving so make sure you right click on nothing so when I press G nothing moves and in case I had this square selected and I press G can see that it moves if I press G so you have to make sure none of the rig layers are selected by simply deselecting everything or simply right clicking on nothing and then you won't have it selected and then when you change poses it's gonna work fine yeah if you want to change poses and not be disturbed by the rig layers just click on this and then you can continue doing what we were doing and yeah that's about it now we're at the exporting renders part of the video to do that we simply go to the top left corner and we click on render image but before we do that we first need to make sure that we are in cycles or eevee whichever you want to choose you can also change the resolution and the amount so you want to say 200 percent so it's going to be almost 4k but in my case i'll just take 25 percent because i want to quickly preview the render for you guys so we'll just go to the top left corner click on render image it should take around 15 seconds in my case in cycles of course the quality is not the best but that's due to the amount you can always put it up and down as you wish um, and yeah the image is now rendered we click on image save as and everything should be good if in case it's not uh, in case here you can see it's not RGBA make sure you click on that because then it's not going to be transparent you have to, you have to make sure you have that selected for the background to be transparent but besides that you can just click on save as image and be on your day now we're at the creating a custom pose part of the video first we'll make sure we can see our rig layer and by pressing n and it's going to come out from the sides i'm just going to hide it a bit and then i'm going to move this to the side as well so i just can see more 
Then we'll make sure we go into a T pose. You can see here, it's called nurse default. Um, in case, but uh, there's also the nurse default with all of the layers. So what we'll do is make a pose with all of these layers so we can show you how to interact with assets. Um, so first thing we do is make sure we have our nurse default selected in case when you select your new poses, uh, basically if, if you're going to the default pose and it's not working, just make sure again, nothing is selected that you can see here, I'm clicking on nothing and then I can change through poses. So simply make sure none of the rig layers are selected. Anyways, um, to create a pose, custom pose with some of these assets, we first need to choose which asset we want. And in our case, we will choose the syringe. So I'm just going to click on it and with G, I'm going to move it up here above her head. And then I'm going to press B and select all of the other assets. I'm just going to move them down so they're not visible in the camera. This one as well, moving it down. I'll press B here select all of them make sure you don't select the girl because we don't want her to move down we want her to stay in the camera which we can see in the top right corner so the only thing remaining is this we'll pull this down as well and now we'll take the syringe and we'll place it next to her let's think of a pose now I just pressed numpad it's like it's the um, numpad period you have to google it I guess but it's, uh, it's right next to the num lock, and then you can zoom in and rotate around the object. Um, the pose we want to do is, um, I don't know, just her hands holding next to the needle. So we'll just place this on the side, and then we'll take her hands, and, and place it on top of this thing. like I'm pressing R Z to rotate on the Z axis. You can basically choose which axis you want to rotate on. So R Y X Z and then you can yeah basically play around and you'll notice how it works. Okay, we'll go on the Z axis. Yeah. Cool. And we'll maybe turn our body more towards it. Um, you can actually create our own library where we copy the faces, but in this case we won't do it. But it's possible where you can copy the face of this and then the body of this so you can save a lot of time creating a pose. But in our case I'll just show the full pipeline so it's not too confusing. She will have her body somewhat rotated towards it. Um, pressing RZ. This controls the clothing in case we want to move it a bit. We'll move the second hand on her hips. I'm just pressing G while I do that. Oops. I press zero on the num lock, so that locks me in the camera view. Uh, like that. Oh, that's too far. Something like this. Cool. And we'll have the character look more towards the camera. Oops, on the other side. You can see here where she looks. We'll just take the eyes and move the camera. Let's put a little smile by just grabbing this corner and then I'll press shift and grab the second corner at the same time and then I'll just move it up. Looks good to me. So that is our custom pose. To save it here under the uh, the side view, we will go under animations, we'll press A to select all the rig layers and then we'll click on create custom pose assets. It's going to load for a bit and then we should have it somewhere. Here it is. It's called nurse rig. To rename it, we can go press on this arrow you can see here. We press on it and let's call it, I don't know, nurse syringe. Then it's going to be at the top and uh, yeah, we can switch through poses 
Oh, let me hide it so you can see it better. We switch through poses, everything looks cool. And then we choose our custom pose. So that is very epic. We can, as usual, just adjust it in case we don't like the leg here or something like that. We can change things, uh, change colors. Basically, you're free to do a bunch of cool stuff with this character. That's it.